Hi friends, welcome back. We're here for more back and forth. We're on the last chapter. Let's see what happens after Nat got kidnapped and I switched bodies with him. And now let's see what happens. Let's go. Okay, thanks for telling us. I know, we're good. Let's go. The end and the beginning. Ooh. Dan? Is that really you? Yes! Callum's in there now. It's Callum. Callum has me locked up in the basement of the abandoned warehouse that my dad owns here. We have to go get her. Para, contact Alfonso and convince him to get the authorities out. I'll tell you what to say. Liam, run on the rest of the team. We're going to need as much help as we can get if nobody believes. We were breaking in. It sounds like they're a real plan, but am I the only one who needs more convincing? I want to walk in on you and Drake. Why are you standing around? Let's get moving, people. I really hope it doesn't come down to this one day, but I'm in a bit of a situation. An out-of-body experience, you might say. I'm pretty sure you're not going to believe what I say. But if I need to, your help, no questions asked, I need to know you'll be there for me. Anything, my boy? Fortune cookies. If I or anyone else ever calls you and say fortune cookies, it's an emergency and you have to help. I understand. You have my word when the time comes. Aww. Alfonso, this is Pyra, Dan's friend. Fortune cookies? Just a bit more. She's not in the room. Colin must have moved her. Let's split up to search. Which way should I go? Head to the- Uh... What is this way? It's really tricky. Freezer room. Ah, uh, we're too late, but there's definitely signs of a struggle in here. Where should I head next? I'm in the freezer room, but are those spice and oil I smell? Kitchen. This place is a mess. There's flour everywhere. Someone must been have been here before I I'm on the right track. I can feel a cold, cool nighttime breeze. It smells like fresh air for once. Ooh, the rooftop garden. <laughs> Callum, how did you get here? Dan, you shouldn't be here. I'll get you out of here, Caroline. I'm already informed the police and they're on their way. Give up, give it up, Callum. If name searching is your attempt at confusing me, it's not working. But she's right. She's Dan, but I'm Karen. You got the wrong person. She's right. If it's your little bastard brother you want revenge on, that's me. I'm Dan. It might not look like it, but Carolyn's is in my body and I'm in Carolyn's body. So I'm actually Dan and she's actually Caroline. What the f, f are you talk guys talking about? Got it! Nice steal! Behind you! Oh my god. Oh I got- Oh no. Someone got shot. Wednesday. <gasps> I took the bullet! It's been so long since I had my stuff on Wednesday. Seriously? That's what you're crying over? <laughs> you're looking better. Oh, jeez! And an error piled on top of her. His heart stopped! There's another way to break the curse besides waiting it out. It's either one, your heart starts beating. Oh, no, no, it's back! Quick! Thank you, thank you for taking the bullet from me. Are you kidding? You're the one fighting for your life in the emergency room. But you're the one who got shot. But... <laughs> I'm glad. I'm just glad it's all over. 
Ever had those days when you are pretty much tired out of what you left and has turned out? Don't you do not want to live as someone else? When Carol and Diane were ch charged with kidnap and for attempted murder, they managed to hire the best lawyers and negotiate for something fancier. One fancy princess. As for me, well, aside from the wild, wild adventure, I had things are pretty much back to normal, except. Who I want to spend? Uh, Caroline, ready to go? I got us a table at the Chinese restaurant we love. Oh, okay. I mean, I I'm planning to do two endings, but I haven't started another story yet. But if I mean, you gotta go with Dan. I mean, I took a bullet for him, and all those crazy adventures we have, it does make sense. But I will try to go back and play Minguk. And to see what it is, what, what kind of ending it is. But let's see what I'm gonna go with Dan, no matter what. Two years later, Mr. Lee is on the phone for you, Mr. Miller. <laughs> I also called that you order. I also called in that order for you. Ten bouquet of roses. Tonight must be a special night. Aren't you afraid of a certain someone will find out? Shh. Is it? Is the hell you ready? I can't believe we just received an order of ten bouquets to be delivered by tonight. Well, it, it is to be delivered to you. Little heads up, we might be late on your delivery, Miss Pierce. Please don't rat us out to Mr. Miller. He's our biggest client after all. He thinks he's helping me this way. I did I didn't want to become a florist. I think it's just, just his way of showing his love for you. Especially since he's all the way in their hand while you're stuck in here in Alcott. Why didn't you join them there? Dad doesn't much have a choice. He's the CEO of a Miller Enterprises now so much he has to be there. But Alka holds so many precious memories for us. It just feels right for one of us to be here. Besides, he has his own helicopter now. He can get here in minutes. Dan? Hey, Cookie. What are you up to today? So much. Some douche put in an order of 10 bouquets by tonight. Surprise! You know it's no longer a surprise if though you ordered those flowers from the shop. I'm working in here, right? You suck at surprises. Hello? You there? Surprise! And he just shows up. You're back! How's that for a surprise? I can't help feeling it's a very special night tonight. I can't believe Dan actually picked out a dress for me to wear tonight. That is one beautiful dress. I would wear that. No matter what. But I don't want to spend money. I want to save it for something else. I can't wait for tonight. Sorry Dan, but I'm so <laughs> Flower delivery. Flower delivery for Miss Pierce. <laughs> are you t are you talking about street? <laughs> I'll just leave them here. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Are those flowers for me? You shouldn't have. My dear, you are one wheel cookie. But I'm your cookie, eh? What have I gotten myself into? Surprise! I got these flowers for you! My tummy is about to explode. But we still have dessert. I got a chef to prepare something special for us. F Fortune cookies? We swore never to have them again. It's been two years since our last swap. I think we're in the clear now. Besides, I miss eating them. But what if our souls go back and forth again? Oh, come on. It's nothing we have been through anyway. Fine. Oops, flying fortune cookie on the loose. Let me go get that. Ugh, I can't find anywhere. A little help here? Where did you... 
Found it. <gasps> Will you marry me? Oh my god. Okay, that's one way to propose a girl. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Dan. Karen Pierce, you are my best friend, my soulmate, and let's face it. Our fates were intervening into wine at the moment we met. You are the first person I brought home to Manhattan. The person who showed me what it's like to love and care for someone so selflessly. There's no one else but you, Carolyn. Will you marry me? Of course I would! I don't want to scream, because I will blast you guys. I love you. I love you too. We're just waiting on one more guest before we begin. By the way, I called it. Totally, totally knew you were going to end up together the moment I saw you two. Here's our superstar. The door is not locked. Alert, Mingunk. Sorry, I was caught up. Crap, is Opa in a suit? We're having a movie night, Lee. It's not a black tie event. <laughs> <laughs> Our world famous musician had to attend an award show tonight. It's honored. It is an honor he's even gracing our movie night. It's my pleasure. Besides, I never pass up an opportunity to hear my favorite oppa in the world. The ring, Caroline. Show him the ring. <laughs> what ring? <laughs> my officer stands, Caroline. If he hurts you again, I'll be here to beat up him up for you. Okay, okay. Enough with the love triangle. That was doomed to fail. Can we please begin the movie? We're taking a shot every time the main character says you. I pick a family favorite for tonight. We're watching. Drum roll, please. Freaky Friday. I never seen that movie. Plan to watch it someday. I, I really don't know the movie. I'm so sorry. Please, somebody comment, please, about it. Who threw that? <laughs> Where the hell did it come from? <laughs> okay, that's funny. Oh, it's over. Oh. Anyway, thanks for thank you guys for watching. It's been a wild, fun ride, and I'll be I'll see you guys next time on whatever story or maybe the other ending. But like I said, I really don't have any more motivations. I'm planning to watch something soon, but then again. I need to figure out something. Anyways, I'll catch you guys next time on whatever story and the second ending if I remember replay it. So goodbye!